All right, this problem is a static problem, meaning that nothing is in motion. Um, this is just N here, and we're trying to calculate the tension on the rope. So the first thing to do is try to figure out what are all the forces acting on the block. So if this block is hanging, there's always going to be some force of weight pulling it down. We're going to assume we're on Earth, and if we're on Earth, then that means that we can calculate the weight. I'm going to say that G equals 10 meters per second squared to make our lives easier. Uh, so that means the weight down is going to be 25 newtons. So it's 2.5 times 10. So it's being pulled down by 25 newtons. Then the ropes have to be able to counteract that and support this. And so we're going to have to figure out then what is the tension on the rope. So each of these ropes has the same angle. So we can probably make the assumption that each rope is contributing half of the support force. So this force from the right rope is going to be 12.5, and the support from the left rope is also going to be 12.5 newtons. And the force that they're pulling in the x direction, the right rope is pulling it to the right, the left rope is pulling it to the left, they must cancel each other out. Otherwise, this thing is going to be accelerating. But let's just go back and let's look at this rope. So if we have a rope that has a tension of 12.5 in the y direction, and we know the angle is 30 degrees here, we're trying to calculate the total tension of the rope, the part here, it's called t. And now this just becomes pretty much a trig problem. So if I say the sine of 30 degrees equals the opposite, which is 12.5, over the hypotenuse t, this is going to solve the tension of the rope for me. So I can rearrange this and say that t equals 12.5 divided by the sine of 30 degrees. So when I plug that into my calculator, make sure I'm in degree mode, 12.5 divided by sine of 30, I get the tension in the rope is 25 newtons. That means that this is being pulled at this angle at 25 newtons. And we can make the same assumption on the other side because the angle is the same. But let's go back and check and make sure that this all works out. So we got an answer of 25 newtons. I'm just going to erase all this. And let's pretend, because it's a lot easier thinking forward than backward. If I have a rope pulling at 25 newtons, and the angle here is 30 degrees, what are the components of the x and y on this rope? So this is our y, force of our y. Let's call this here force of my x. So the sine of 30 degrees equals opposite Fy over the hypotenuse, 25. So that means the force in the y direction, Fy, equals 25 times the sine of 30 degrees, which, wouldn't you know it, is 12.5 newtons. So that checks out. Now, just because we can, if I want to find the x component, I'll say cosine of 30 degrees equals, because cosine is adjacent, which is fx over 25. I can then say, okay, well, fx equals 25 times cosine of 30 degrees. And when I do that, I get the fx is 21.65 newtons. So it's pulled in the x direction with 21.65 newtons. And if I did this on the other side, I would get the same x force, 21.65, so they would cancel. And another good way to check this is if this angle is 30 degrees, that means that if you were to draw this out, picture the extreme. What if this was like 1 degree? It'd be really, really shallow. The x force is going to be much greater than the y force. This is the x force. This is the y. So the x force should be greater than the y, which it is in this case. The x is 21.65, the y is 12.5. So lots of built-in checks here to figure this out. But anyway, bottom line, um, the tension on the rope um, came out to 25 newtons. And this is actually an unfortunate answer. I should have probably prepped this ahead of time. This answer, 25 newtons, it's really just a coincidence that this matches the weight. Uh, that will not happen all the time. It just happens to be the case because I use 30 degrees. It worked out that this ended up being right. If I chose a different angle, this tension would be different than 25 newtons. So don't count on that happening. Um, if I have a chance, I will 
do another video and change this. I really don't like these coincidences, um, but just don't, don't make that mistake. I found it by saying that each rope supported 12.5. I used some trig and uh, I found out the tension that way. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.